This video is going to review the use of some barrier devices when providing breaths to a patient. So we may provide ventilations, especially at more of the advanced level in CPR. So once you do a level C CPR or a basic life support course, we'll add ventilations to the compression aspect of CPR. We may also do ventilations alone if we're positive the patient has a pulse and we're dealing with the patient in a respiratory arrest. So two of the most common adult barrier devices besides the bag valve mask system that are portable are the pocket mask and the face shield. So both of these devices have a one-way valve built in. Um, this face shield is a really good high quality tough plastic that's not going to rip or break down easily and it has a rigid face shield as well as a mouthpiece built into it. The pocket mask has a bladder that's inflated to seal around the entire face. The point always goes towards the nose. Again, you have a one-way valve. You have a strap just to help keep it on the face while you're doing CPR. And then this port here is to add oxygen if the patient recovers and we're adding oxygen to the mask uh, with ventilations. So you can use it there. Okay, so we'll go through the, the two systems and how to use them. So if we're using our face shield, you'll open it up. It does have directions right on it as to how to use it. You want to make sure the writing is visible in the way that you can read it. If not, it's upside down. So you can see you have it the correct way up. You're going to take the mouthpiece and place it inside the patient's mouth and the face shield's gonna sit on top of the face, patient's face. You're gonna to need to head tilt the patient when you're giving a breath. Use your fingers to pinch the nose, and then the other hand to seal this over. And what you wanna see when you're giving that breath is you wanna see that chest actually rise. So we're giving the breath. So you can see visible chest rise. That's all the air you need to provide to the patient, and that's how to use the face shield. If the patient vomits, you can remove the shield roll the patient, clear the vomit, and continue as needed. If this is still clear, then you can continue to reuse the face shield.